Welcome back everyone, this is Ultralabos, playing Final Fantasy VI. We left off in Vector, had a good little dinner, filled our bellies. And... Edgar's telling us some things. So let's, uh, see what the rest of our party members are up to since they're hanging behind. Oh, they're sighing. That's not very nice. Well, I mean... He did just, you know, destroy pretty much everyone in his castle by use of poison. So, I kind of see where he's coming from. Yeah, Kefka's a maniac. Hey, Bannon. Well, I mean, if he's on our side now... Yeah, they're out there running amok. I mean, look what they did to Vector. And where are we going to go? Oh, let's head down here. And into here. Gah, what are you doing? Did your parents live here, maybe? And of course you say nothing but Koopo. So yeah, this could possibly be uh, where Gaw's parents once lived. And is that everyone? I think so. Except for Setzer. Where the hell is Setzer at? Maybe... Maybe he's back at the airship. We'll have to head there here shortly and check it out. First off, we're going to head back over to the Imperial base over there to the east. I'm going to do that off screen and I'll meet you back uh, once I get there. Alright, here we are at the Imperial base. And uh, word of the wise, stay away from the desert uh, areas right now when you only have two party members. Because the good old uh, Zombones, they turn both you into a zombie in one turn, then yeah, it's game over. And we can make it in here now and get all this treasure. Man, that's nice. Some running shoes, ether. Elixirs are nice. Curing. Back guard. all that stuff. Now, the relics that we picked up, you know, I may not hurt to put some earrings on Terra. Uh, what was we gonna... I can't believe I forgot to give her any. Let's see what we, uh, picked up here. Cure Ring. Cast Regin, uh, constantly on you. That will keep float on you, constantly. Uh, you can win both of these, I believe, from the auction house. And uh, we already had the running shoes, that's the haste, so yeah. For now we're putting dual earrings on Terra because she's going to be casting a lot of magic, so. I will uh, actually meet you back at the airship, which is still where it last was, over near Miranda. I lied. I'm going to meet you there, but I just remembered something. I forgot to check the stove. Yeah, we get a flame saver now. And, I believe, there's an elixir there. So yeah, man. I think we got, it, like, what, 41,000 gold just from here alone? That's pretty cool. But anyways, I'll meet you back now at the airship. And here we are in the airship. Just make our way up here. And, we got a little cutscene. Looks like Sid's here with Setzer. Well, that sucks. At least you got Sid here to help. I don't know. There's something about the way Sid looks. I think it's his outfit in this one. It's just weird. Not a big fan of it. Yeah, Sid'll do it. He'll put a drill on it and a, a hook thing that can carry hovercrafts. 
Make it to where you can fly over lava. Really? The Falcon? Maybe we can find it. Oh. Is it Amelia Earhart? Nope, it's Daryl. Wonder if she's an android. Well, that's all there is to do here, so I'll meet you back at Albrook now. And here we are in Albrook. And just in case you were curious, this is, uh, what is equipped it? So let's head to the port. Should be open now. Before we couldn't go down there, because some asshole guards told us to get away. So we're going to head over to Crescent Island, which I could have went to that town over there earlier. It, it's the area over there where I was killing uh, the Cephalo blah blah that something. Trying to get the Gaia gear. I also fought the Chimeras in the forest. Uh, there's a town up on the peninsula, but there wasn't a lot we could do there. And the shops were outrageously priced, which you'll see. So we're going to get on this boat with General Leo. Hey, Celis is back in Shadow. Has Locke met Shadow? I don't remember. I don't think so. I don't think Terra has either. Well, I guess Locke saw him in South Figaro. So did Terra. So. I think we got to fight alongside him yet. I guess we got a rest at the end. What's up, dude? Well, that's good, because being garroted is not fun. So now we got to go to the inn and rest. Which that shouldn't be too far away, I don't think. Over here, maybe? Out my way. Well, hell yeah, we don't even have to pay for our room. We get preferential treatment. Now it's night time. You're not going to have to go out there and fight us a Hagen, are you? Nope, but there's Celis. What's up? Some cool music right here. Now it goes into the opera music. Yeah, why don't you talk to him? What's going on? Oh, that's why. Yeah, I think, you know, she's probably pissed at you about that. Get over it, Locke. You're not going to redeem yourself for what you did to Rachel. How sad. On a lighter note, let's go get on a boat. Man, I, I wanted to put those sprint shoes on, but I only got two party members and I need all the power I can get out of the accessories I'm using. Alright, General Leo, we're ready. Let's get the hell out of here. And we're just going to that continent, uh, that island continent over there on the right. That's a fun little boat ride. Are you getting seasick? Nope, it's A-OK. -okay. Damn, that takes a while. What the hell are you doing? It's like right there. And now I can talk to people. It's not that dangerous. Oh... 
so worried about me. Thank you. What up, Leo? Well, yeah. I mean, unless she gets seasick. She looks a lot better, though. She's not, like, purple and... Yeah, but, um... Yeah, Kefka, like, just took that shit to the extreme. The Empire saw the error of their ways, now they're on our side. What could go wrong? Mmm, so you're an enabler. I'm not sure uh, how that works there, but you should be able to. Maybe you'll be more powerful for us in magicite form, Terra. Sad scene right after the another, you know? Wow, that's pretty forceful. Here's the answer to your prayers, Tara. Shadow's here to show you what love is. That is kind of weird that he just kind of popped out here right after you were saying that. If Edgar was with you, oh my. You're lucky Shadow's a decent guy. Edgar, on the other hand, let's be glad we left him in Vector. Yeah, be glad that you have some emotions. Shadow has just locked his away. And now there's some funny Kokobo music playing, and is Locke getting seasick? He is. That's okay, buddy. <laughs> Yep, Locke gets seasick. It's not a very good trait for a treasure hunter. I guess he wouldn't be able to cut it as a pirate. And I'm in control again, so... Yeah, let's restore peace. Really? That's weird. All right. We'll do that. Let's get out of here. Come on, Shadow. Oh, are you sorry now? Will you forgive him or? Nope, he don't even care. He just gave you the cold shoulder. And Tara thought about saying something it looked like, but then she decided against it. And we're going to disembark on this continent. This is Ultralavos playing Final Fantasy VI. See you all next time.